I accepted the information with gratitude and found myself dreading more and more my first meeting with the intolerant duchess. My first sight of the palace through the trees did nothing to assuage my fears. It was nothing like any building I had ever seen in Valenwood. A vast edifice of stone and iron, with a jagged row of battlements like the jaws of a great beast. Most of the trees near the palace had been hewn away long ago, I could only imagine the scandal that must have caused, and what fear the Bosmere peasants must have had of the Duchy of Woda to have allowed it. In their stead was a wide grey, green, moat circling in a ring around the palace, so it seemed to be on a perfect, if artificial island. I had seen such sights in tapestries from High Rock and the Imperial Province, but never in my homeland. There'll be a guard at the gate, so we'll leave you here, said Akin, stopping his horse in the road. It'd be best for you if you weren't damned by association with us. I thanked my companions and wished them good luck with their schooling. They rode on and I followed on foot. In a few minutes time, I was at the front gate, which I noticed was linked to tall and ornate railings to keep the compound secure. When the gatekeeper understood that I was there to inquire about a domestic position, he allowed me past and signaled to another guard across the open lawn to extend the drawbridge and allow me to cross the moat. There was one last security measure, the front door. An iron monstrosity with the Woda coat of arms across the top, reinforced by more strips of iron, and a single golden keyhole. The man standing guard unlocked the door and gave me passage into the huge gloomy greystone palace. Her grace greeted me in her drawing room. She was thin and wrinkled like a reptile, cloaked in a simple red gown. It was obvious that she never smiled. Our interview consisted of a single question. Do you know anything about being a junior footman in the employment of an imperial noblewoman? Her voice was like ancient leather. No, your grace. Good. No servant ever understands what needs to be done, and I particularly dislike those who think they do. You're engaged. Life at the palace was joyless, but the position of junior footman was very undemanding. I had nothing to do on most days except to stay out of the Duchess's sight. At such times, I usually walked two miles down the road to Maliva. In some ways, there was nothing special or unusual about the village, there are thousands of identical places in Valenwood. But on the hillside nearby was Master Hyamaste's Archery Academy, and I would often take my luncheon and watch the practice.